For 18 months, Russia's economy has largely been able to withstand the pressure from Western sanctions. The Russian government has continued to bear the fruit of oil and gas revenues, and it's found substitute trade partners in Asia. More recently, however, the ruble has fallen under fresh pressure, a sign of the limits of Russia's wartime economy. In August, the ruble fell to its lowest levels since the early days of the war. Soon after, the central bank raised interest rates by three and a half percentage points at an emergency meeting, saying it needed to both stabilize the ruble and bring down inflation. The central bank's intervention has helped up prop up the currency in the short term, yet economists say it points to future volatility for the Russian economy. Regardless of the central bank's actions, Russia continues to face pressure from fast-rising inflation, even while it must keep up wartime spending, a problem that will continue to put the Russian government and the Russian central bank under pressure.